Hey guys, welcome back to day eight. We're officially hitting week two right now. Congratulations, way to go. I'm Ben Cunnington joining you again. And today we're talking about who do you want to attract. And it's all about insecurity and fear. And as men, uh, this is something that I myself has, have dealt with. Uh, I've had to face insecurity and different fears and just really having to ask myself, who am I at the core and, and where does my identity come from? Is it, is it, is it, am I looking to other relationships to, uh, to fuel and strengthen my identity or do it, am I getting my identity from, from God and God alone and what he thinks and, and who he has said that I am as a man and who he's called me to be? Because that's really what we have to hold on to. That's what we have to keep going back to. Uh, the enemy loves to assault men and to get us to believe that we are nothing, that we're not good enough, that we're, uh, we don't have what it takes, that um, because we've failed or we've had weakness in the past, that we're never going to be um, who God's called us to be. And that's just, that's just not true. We've got to kick those things out of our head and we've got to get back to the Word and what God says about who we are as men. We are called to be confident men, not, not cocky, not um, prideful, but confident, dependent upon God and God alone. The Word says that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. And so weakness is not bad, but when we start to let insecurity and fear and rejection start to uh, dominate or start to, when that starts to come out in our relational interactions, it's only going to perpetuate those things. It's only going to, to add uh, just wounding and pain and mistreatment and just uh, mistrust. And it's, it's going to be hurtful to our relationships. And so if you're in a relationship right now and you're struggling with insecurity, you're struggling with your own identity, I want to encourage you Go back to what the Word says, who you are in God. What has He said about you? And what are, what are lies that you're maybe believing about yourself, about who you are, about uh, things that you have done in the past, or just things that you don't think that you're capable of. And we've got to get back to uh, really holding true to, this is who God says I am. Uh, this is what God says I can do. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. I'm called to be a conqueror. I'm called to be a warrior. He's given me everything I need for life and godliness. And as a man, um, you can do this. And so I want to just encourage you. Seek the Lord. Get his opinion of, of what he thinks about you. And, and hold on to that. And, and just go after any lies that you're believing. Because the Lord has good things for you. And he's, his thoughts towards you are good. So bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow for day nine.